Have you ever thought about cheating on me? You joke about it all the time. I do. I always joke about it with your friends. Any of his friends that are single, I'm like, you know, I could have him if I wanted. What up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. Back in here with yet one more video. All right, guys, listen. I <laughs> got this reaction in here today. We're in love, but we don't have sex. Content creators are cut. They're like a Jubilee type of YouTube channel. We got to get into this one. Um, there's a particular uh, couple in there that I think needs to be highlighted in the dynamic and the relationship between the two. You understand me? A lot of times on this channel, what is described to me, you know, what are the things that guys are looking for in women? And one of the things that comes up in that category is, you know, if not virgin, then extremely low body count. But we're coming across a conversation when a young man is dating a young woman who wants to wait to have sex before marriage. But watch what happens, all right? Without further ado. I'm Parisa. I'm Troy. How long have you guys been together? Uh, just over a year and a half. We're waiting until yeah. marriage. My like parents have kind of like instilled that into me. I want to like make sure I can trust the person I'm with and that like, He's with me, like, for me. Even if the topic comes up, she gets a little, like, nervous. Would you like to take a shot right now? Uh, I'm fine for now. I'm want? good now. Which one of us has a harder time not having sex? It's easy. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. Let me address how the conversation has started thus far. Um, when asked, you know, why are you waiting? And first thing that she said is, my parents have instilled in me, right? Um, so she's taking her parents' advice of why she does not want to have sex. And I think like a better way to conceptualize why you have taken that route or that choice is why is the reason intrinsic to the how you think about the world is the reasons that I want to do something. Because oftentimes when people take information from other people, they really don't have their own whys up to why it makes sense within their own lives. I just wanted to say that real quick. All right, let's move on. What would you do if you caught me watching porn? I'd be excited. I don't masturbate. I don't believe Take my, that. You don't believe it? I just don't know how you don't. I don't feel like turned on doing it to myself. I mean, it's different for girls. We don't have like anything to have like a boner with or something. So like, no, I'm just saying like, there's no way to like physically prove our sex drive. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Wait a minute. You just saw his face. Oh, that was the look of pure disapproving. What is she talking about? Yeah, there's ways to prove. What are you talking about? Oh, God. This is somebody who I think probably is um, has been extremely sheltered throughout her life, um, doesn't understand the basics of uh, sex and how to interact. Yeah, there's ways that you can prove it. It's less visible, right? But what is it called? Viscosity. You understand what I'm saying? can absolutely prove it. It's definitely a physical sign. In fact, without that physical sign, you can't have sex. It needs to be there unless you lose some type of outside source such as lubrication and kind of help the process. But um, it's clear that she doesn't know what she's talking about. She probably uh, feels icky and weird anytime that a sexual conversation comes up. Here's the thing. A lot of you guys talk about a lot of times like, you know, if she's a virgin, da 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 da. This is a virgin. Okay, this is a virgin. Is this attractive to you? Is this attractive to you? You know, I mean, it is what it is to each his own. Um, but this is an example of one. Okay. What I find hilarious, though, is that he didn't take the time to correct her. Maybe it's because he's on camera and they signed waivers <laughs> or what have you. But yeah, um, he definitely knows the answer to that. He just admitted to watching porn. He's aware. Okay. He's aware. All right, let's keep going. Would you say you guys are each other's physical types? You feel pretty attracted to each other? That part of the relationship feels good? Yeah, like I'm attracted to her. I don't know if she can say the same. Um, it oh, doesn't shit. matter. Yeah, you look fine. Like, you look good, whatever. But it's not about how I feel oh. about you. It's not about anything like that. It's just this is on me, I guess. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Shit. Notice what just happened there. Okay, gents, notice what just happened, okay? Question was asked, you saw her eyes looking all around? Uh-oh, I gotta answer this one. He said yes immediately, okay? He said yes immediately. 
What did she say? Yeah, well, you know, I guess, like, you know, I, what what does it matter? Oh, he died inside a little bit right there. Imagine dating someone from a year and a half, right? You're not in any other types of viscosities, but you're waiting for hers. Why? Because you believe that there's value in waiting, okay? Value in not attaining your basic needs, your basic necessities. There's value in waiting because she's the one. She's the right one, okay? She respects me. She treats me right, so I'll wait. I'll wait for the right one. And there comes a question in a public audience whether or not she finds you attractive. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, my G. I'd move on. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll learn some new information, all right? <clears throat> Have you ever thought about leaving me because my sex drive is too low? Not really. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard not, not yeah. doing it. Um, but I don't think that'd be worth, uh, worth leaving you for. Oh, it's not yeah. like it's affecting us. It's not like an issue that comes up. What? <laughs> Pick up your nuts! Pick up your nuts! Tell her what's good. What do you mean it's not an issue? To... Look at the look on his face. He is unpleased. He is unhappy. He is <laughs> dissatisfied. It, do, do you think? Do you think that she's really not clear that this is an issue? I, do you think that she's really not clear? Perhaps you know. I, you can't blame her if she's saying craziness about you can't tell. She hasn't discovered her lady parts enough to understand that there's physical showing of, you know, becoming aroused, right? And he, if he is avoiding the conversation of like, yeah, this is actually a problem or issue for me, which you can obviously tell it is a problem. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. You understand me? You got to communicate that, my G. You got to communicate how much of a problem that it actually is. You see what I'm saying? You got to communicate that. Pick up your nuts, have the discussion, have the communication, all right? Have it, all right? May not change shit, but at least she knows. Have you ever thought about cheating on me? <laughs> you joke about it all the time. I do, I always joke about it with your friends. Any of his friends that are single, I'm like, you know, I could have him if I wanted. You no, know, like. What? And how does that make you feel? How do you like those jokes? I think, uh, I don't know. Stop smiling. I think I can tolerate you. I don't know if they would. I think Ryan would. <laughs> You think you'd go a year and a half without sex? I don't think so. Would you? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay, okay. I take all of the ish that I said back before. What I was trying to say was, is that I, if he believes that he found somebody that is, you know, low degree of body counts, high degree of femininity, you know what I'm saying, respects and understands him, nurtures, pours into him, but she doesn't do that, okay? What does she do? She makes jokes about the situation. Okay, not only does she make jokes, but she makes jokes about who she's gonna have sex with of his friends. Oh, this is a dirty woman. It's a dirty lady. Okay, it's a manipulative dirty lady. She knows. She knows that the sex thing is a problem. Why else would you have a joke about it? Okay, shit testing the hell out of him. Shit testing the hell out of him. And what does he do? He's laughing. Okay, eject. Get out this situation. Not only get out this situation, but you gotta come across new ways to understand how to deal with women correctly okay she has your nutsack in a vice grip okay and she's not gonna let up she's not gonna let go you're gonna continue to be a validation source for her as she laughs in your face let it go my g let it go my friends that's what i want to know which of my friends are you trying to cheat with uh she doesn't have too many friends so notice what happened right there as well okay because she got caught in a weird kind of situation where she admitted to you know outside of the relationship where she can do whatever she wants to in that relationship to make him feel uncomfortable without the repercussions of the public knowing it but as soon as that information came right up what she do she deflected all right she deflected she said well which one of my friends knowing damn well she ain't got no friends you understand what just happened right there keep focus keep your eyes on the prize understand the shaming the embarrassing tactics that they try to do in the deflection tactics that try to happen in these situations but you got to remain on that prize okay don't you smile and you laugh through that you maintain your focus you maintain your frame all right oh this this one is cringy all right this one is cringy right here but let's move on if you seriously ask me i'd be like no you can go like we can break up and you can go have all the sex you want but um yeah 
Why do you love me? <laughs> she hasn't said it yet. Um, that's a great question. You put up with all of my like sass, and you're so reliable, and I like I super appreciate that. Put up with all my sass and you're reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. She pushed you through the ring and she pushed you through the BS, but you stay. All right. But you stay. You tolerate it. All right. You tolerate it. She's picked an easy target. All right. You got to grow from this. All right. You got to grow from this. You got to move on. All right. You lost this situation. All right. There's not much that you can do to pick it up from here. You understand me? The respect is already gone. You lost the one true component that will allow you to get to a, res to a finish line that makes sense, and that's respect. She doesn't respect you, okay? She doesn't respect you. At the point that she's telling you that she's joking that she would have sex with your friends and she's a virgin, she has no respect for you, all right? You lost the one component that would actually make sense in a relationship to stand the test of time. That's the one of the basic ones, okay? That one's gone. That one's gone. Let me put it, look at the body language, okay? Look at the body language. He is, he is, it's like he can hear me right now, you know? He's, he's listening to me, he's listening to the things that I'm saying, and he's saying, yes, MTR, I have made mistakes. You are absolutely right. Nothing I can do to pick this up from here. But thank you for the information, thank you for the knowledge. All right, let's go on. Let's see what else they got in here. All right. Did you? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he said, all right, all right, we're getting out of here. All right. Hopefully he can make a change. Hopefully he can make a stand. Um, yeah, he said, yeah, we out of here. <laughs> he said, we out, we out. Listen, that's the actually the end of the video. Um, I think I said everything that I need to say on this video. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box for the entire video but I cut up this one particular conversation between this couple right here. Um, but feel free to go click on the link in the video and see the much longer video. Um, I thought that that was an interesting reaction for the purpose of my channel, but feel free to go and check out the rest of it. Um, final thoughts. Um, yeah, my G, you gotta move on from this situation. She lost respect for you, okay? She doesn't respect you. That's why I actually appreciate uh, conversations like this because it probably wasn't until they were forced to sit down and talk this through that he realized how much uh, uh, of his mistakes in his past in dealing with her has impacted their relationship then and into the future, you understand me? Because they're forcing these conversations in this truth or drink type of a format, sort of like when I come over here and I force a conversation with someone with the opposite sex and then they start to throw their ideas up in the air and then I begin to pressure test like, yeah, I don't think that makes a lot of sense the way that you conceive your reality within that thought. You understand what I'm saying? That's been your reaction. That's been your video. Many over tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.